Three years ago, Mike Dodd was the old man on the beach. And Mike Whitmarsh was a basketball star who melted down on the summer sand. However, last year at Seal Beach, Dodd and Witt were reborn. Playing beach volleyball's dominant team of Karch Garai and Kent Steffes, Whitmarsh and Dodd parlayed experience and endurance to overcome the reigning kings of the beach. With one victory, Dodd and Whitmarsh discarded their old labels and recast themselves as champions. On the losing side that day, Kent Steffes, volleyball's million-dollar man, for five years the wonder boy of the sport, and for five years the partner of Karch Karai, simply the best volleyball player ever. Indoors and out, Karai has answered every challenge the game could offer, but oddly, one title has eluded him. Seal the Karch and Kent are not the favorites this week. Steffes has missed 13 weeks with shoulder surgery. But today, they get their rematch. In their fifth attempt, can Karai and Steffes finally win at Seal Beach? Or will it be Dodd and Witt once again? Y'all ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Big Time Volleyball. This is the MVP We come to you live from the sands of Seal Beach, California. This is the $100,000 Miller Lite Open, and fans are jacked. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, Karch Karai, Kent Steffes. Hello, America. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sutherland getting ready for, ready for what should be a great championship final. I guess the question everybody wants to know, are Kent Steffes and Karch Karai playing at a level that can beat Dodd and Whitmarsh now? No. They didn't beat him in the finals of the winners. 15 to 8, Dodd and Whitmarsh dominated, and particularly Mike Whitmarsh blocking. They got points off Steffes. They got points off Kirai. Coming into this tournament, Kirai and Steffes were undefeated against Dodd and Whitmarsh. Clearly, some things have happened in the last 13 weeks. But what's happened early in this tournament is that Kirai and Steffes have really gotten some rhythm defensively and offensively. They're passing extremely well. But the X factor is Mike Whitmarsh. He has become the dominant blocker on the beach, and Kirai and Steffes are both going to have to deal with him. He's 6'7". He touches a lot of balls and gives Don Whitmarsh the best point scoring combination in World Beach Volleyball. There's Dean at defense. Mike Dodd is going to be all over Kent Steffes at the beginning of this match. They're going to serve Steffes every chance they get right at the beginning of this match. We'll set the tone. One game to 15 points. Dodd and Whitmarsh, the two-time defending champions here at Seal Beach. Karai and Steffes have never won this event together. Dodd with the serve, and they're attacking the wing right off the bat. Steffes. And Dodd with the dig. Whitmarsh, was he over? No! Point! If any part of the ball is on your side, you can legally play the ball as an attacker. Right away, they go to Whitmarsh, and there's Mike Dodd in the angle. Witt's going up. Karch is going, wait a minute, that thing's over. I want to pass that ball, but no call by either the up or down official. Steffes, and right to Dodd. Dodd guessed right, looking for point number two. No, we hit it out. It's been quite some time, Paul, that Karch and Kent have come in as an underdog in a final. Can you remember the last no. time? It has been years and years, quite frankly. Big break for Kirai and Steffes early. Kent Steffes serving, trailing one to nothing. Here comes Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh puts it away. Let's identify the players for you, at least visually. There are Dodd and Whitmarsh. Dodd is in green, black, upturned power visor. Whitmarsh behind him in blue, white hat. Taller of the two teams. Here comes Steffes. And Steffes shows some heat. Steffes wearing the blue hat, Karai in the pink hat. Talk to Mike Dodd and say, look, what do you think about Steffes? You're the one that's the catcher, so to speak, he being the pitcher. He says, look, he's not hitting the ball hard cross court with as much heat. I can dig that. If I stop that, he'll start going line. And that's when I'll guess, I'll chase down, and I think we can get to him. Mike Dodd, a five-time winner here at Seal Beach, 86 and 88 with Tim Hovland. He won here in 92 with Pat Powers and the last couple of years with Witt. Steffes. Got to dink it high to get it over with. Karch, got to dink it higher to get it over with. 
There you go. <laughs> Set it badly enough. So you take Whitmarsh out of the play. The ball set seven feet back. There is the X factor. There's dinking high, higher, and highest. Finally getting the ball over Whitmarsh, and that's why he changes the game. Maybe having more impact on the tour than any other player right now. One to nothing. Dot and Whitmarsh lead it. Dot. And down the line on an unsuspecting Carrara. Normally very hot and not breezy, but today uh, gusty winds. It's a little cool. Still a great crowd on hand here at Seal Beach. Whitmarsh with the serve, leading one to nothing. Steffes, Dodd with a dig. And Parks rejects that. Second point scoring opportunity that Dodd and Whitmarsh have not capitalized on. That will give Kirok and Steffes a lot of confidence early on. They could easily be down 3 0. Kirok with the serve, working on Whitmarsh. Got it up. Parts on the right. Not yet, Dodd. How many digs for Dodd already? And the put away. Boy, Dodd turns into a youngster of 27 instead of 37 when he plays here at Seal Beach. Well, he can see dollar signs, and we still have Miller Light Cup, which he and Whitmarsh, along with Kirai, are battling over $125,000 on top. It's just another dig. He's got four already. Trying to serve Kent Steffes short, move him around. Kent Steffes and Karch Kirai on the good side now. They are downwind. It's easier for them to jump serve tough into the wind and set the ball and pass the ball as well. Steffes with the serve, trailing one to nothing. Steffes. Whitmarsh is there. And the put away again by Don. Don Whitmarsh uh, guessing, moving well so far. Tough to score points. Here Ryan Steffes have gotten some breaks. Karch with a good block on Dodd to keep them off the board. Difficult to get another point on the board. Whitmarsh and Dodd leading one nothing. <laughs> Steffes bombing cross court. Pretty good set by Karai. Of course, you can judge how good the pass is by whether Karai set it with his hand or his force used the set. Karai serve trailing one to nothing. Out. And he serves it hard from the front. So give the ball to Mike Dodd. Mike Dodd playing three years on the USA national team, 81, 85, and 86. Never played in the Olympic Games. He told me he had given up his Olympic dream, but now he has that back with beach volleyball. Dodd off the net. And over the net. Not lucky, not good. Two previous point-scoring opportunities. Dodds dug a couple cross-court. Now he cheats line. I would say lucky and good. Well, for that one, yes. yeah. He, they were bad, hit it out of bounds. They got stuffed. They were not good, and that one was lucky and good. Lucky on the shot, good on the dig. Kent getting every serve as he pops it through. Don and Whitmarsh are very easy servers. They rank at the bottom of the Power 8 serving list. Way the very at the bottom. bottom. 97 and 102 respectively coming into this uh, tournament. Steffes has gotten every serve so far in this final. Doesn't really matter. Two to nothing. Dot and Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh puts it away. Mike Whitmarsh today with his winnings will pass Ricky Ludies to move into ninth place on the career money list. Wood has already won $161,000 this year and almost 686,000 in his career. Over him. Kent and Kent snapping across court. And Whitmarsh saying to Jim Leonard, that was a throw. I don't think so. No, a lot of spin on the set. Want a double contact on this overhand set from Karch Kirai. Plant in the seed. Maybe get a be, uh, be the beneficiary later on in this match. Good, good. Karch trailing two zip. Dodd dinks it down the line. I think something interesting that Mike Dodd told me. He said the difference between Kent Steffes and Scott Akatubby in terms of a partner with Karch is that Kent moves much better than Akatubby. He makes more plays, he's more athletic, he gives him more defense and more maneuverability. That's the one big difference he sees. What? Karch. Whitmarsh was there and he gets the block. Three to nothing, Dodd and Whitmarsh. Similar to the finals of the winner's bracket, Karch wanting to go into his patented cross-court shot, hitting the ball away from his body. Whitmarsh certainly knows it. 
Get way on hand over for the stuff block and a decisive lead. 20 seconds hand timeout taken by Karai Steffes. We're coming back. This is the AVP on NBC. Spike it up. A $1 million Miller Lite Cup awarded at the end of the year. Excellence, uh, or money for excellence, I should say. Karts Karai in the lead, but Don and Whitmarsh right behind along with Akatubi. Dodd Whitmarsh won last week. They're in the finals again this week. Karch Kirai a third. You see Scott Akatubi, Kirai's former partner, Adam Johnson, Jose Loyola. Now together, Brian Lewis down in seventh. First place worth 125000 The last couple of years has not really been a contest. Either Kirai and Steffes. Whitmarsh has been the dominating factor so far. Kirai Steffes can't get by him. It's four to nothing. If you just join us, Whitmarsh and Dodd coming in as the favorite team against Kirai Steffes. Six foot seven inch Mike Whitmarsh is doing the nasty at the net. The very nasty. Four blocks already early, touching almost everything. Down the line, trouble. Whitmarsh looking for another point, and he gets it. Control block, transition, and the score. Five nothing. Dodd Whitmarsh starting from the bad side. We're coming back after this. Hey, hang around. Hammering Karai Steffes at the moment. A couple of moments ago, Bill Walton spoke with Karch Karai about what is going on with their team. Thanks, Karch. It's been Mike Whitmarsh's match so far. He's blocking you off the court. Any thought of moving the sets back a little bit? Uh, no, we're, uh, I think we're setting well. We're just hitting poor shots. I didn't think we could play worse than this morning, and so far we are. What can you do to change that around? We've got to change our rhythm and start getting some side outs and uh, serve Dodd a little more, I think, and try and get some points. Thanks so much, Karch. Dodd and Whitmarsh getting all five points on the bad side, and Karch Karai edgy right now. His team playing horribly. This is about as bad as Karai and Steffes have ever looked. And if you're wondering what Karch means by rhythm, he means we've got to pass and set, give each other crisp calls, cross court, line, and attack the ball very aggressively to get by Whitmarsh and around Dodd. And right now, they have no rhythm. And that's mostly because of Mike Whitmarsh. Five to nothing. Although Dodd has had his share in it. But frankly, Dodd and Whitmarsh out playing for Ryan Steffes. Uh, Dodd and Whitmarsh have won six events this year, including the international qualifier in Hermosa. And they look like the team to beat, don't okay. they? Inside Dodd. Was that on a bounce? Looks like it. No call. Steffes. And he loops it out of bounds. Wow, if Dodd got that up, a fabulous game. Well, he's a pretty good golfer. Maybe that was his lofted club that he was using to get under there. Certainly a lot of sand coming up with it. Oh, he got it. His hand was in there. That was a great stab. And then you make the opposition play the ball again, and Steffes comes through with another unforced error. Well, you stop Kent Steffes in the cross court, make him loop line, and right now Dodd's all over everything Kirai and Steffes have got. Defensively and offensively. We got two minutes out of that. Here we go. This is not hitting well. It's the result of poor Karch Karai setting, but Kent normally won't tell Karch when he's setting him right. So in Milwaukee last week, Karch said to Kent, please don't wait for the end of the tournament to tell me if I'm setting you right. And Steffes immediately replied, okay, set me closer. So it can be a combination, Paul, as that ball goes off the hands of Whitmarsh. The coordination of the pass and the set, not just the Steffes hit. Well, there's no question about that. But Steffes becomes the target because he's received 13 serves and Kirai only one so the pressure on Kirai to set the ball very very well here's Mike Dodd and Dodd cuts it inside Dodd and Whitmarsh playing flawlessly lead Kirai and Steffes six to nothing after the 15 to 8 loss by Kirai and Steffes to Dodd Whitmarsh in the finals of the winner's bracket I talked to Kent Steffes I said different what are you going to do he says we're going to serve Dodd more Whitmarsh is just going right over the top of both of us and we're not getting any points off him Here's Karch. And Karch is blocked by Whitmarsh. The second time, Mike Whitmarsh making a big move, and I don't think there's any doubt that this man is the best blocker in all of beach volleyball, wherever you want to go. Lined up right on Karch's pink hat and then reaching way out into the line to stuff that shot as well. Seven to nothing as Steffes finally puts it away. And Steffes back to serve. Now Steffes will serve. No aces for Kirai and Steffes so far. They rely on their serving to score some points. 
No, we didn't hit it, baby. Dodge gets the whack. Bill, you have a Mike Dodge story. Can you tell us about it? Yes, Mike Dodd, the all-time winningest player in the history of Seal Beach Volleyball. He and his lovely and talented wife, Patty, conceived their daughter two years ago right after the tournament victory here. So this has special meaning to Mike Dodd. Whitmarsh is there again. And it is eight to nothing. Nothing. Archon Kent getting shut out right now. I'll tell you, better tell uh, Mike's wife, Patty, to be ready because they're rolling towards another victory right now. Could be number two. <laughs> Getting ready. Kent. Dodd has the dig. Whitmarsh. And he puts it away. But Whitmarsh fell awkwardly. And he's okay. Looked like he tweaked his ankle, Paul. Off balance. I think landed heavily and then just went straight to the soft sand. But another control block right to Mike Dodd. He dishes up to Whit. That was an easy looking score. I mean, the route is at least on for now. Remember last year, it was a blowout the other way. Karai Steffes in command when Dodd and Whitmarsh made their run. Timeout called by Karai Steffes. We've talked about serving rankings, the Powerade serving list. I want to show you this list of the best servers on the ABP Tour. That's the sign for Ace. This year, the winner will get $20,000. Brian Lewis, currently in the league, in a battle with unheralded James Fellows. Adam Johnson, West Welch, Scott Eckett, Debbie Fellows has to play more games. His partner, Marcelo Duarte, told me they've got to get five next week and five the uh, couple following weeks to qualify so Fellows can get some of that money. The minimum criteria for a number of games, $80,000 overall, 20 to the best server on the beach. Dodd off him. It hasn't been all Karai and Steph is playing poorly. Dodd and Whitmarsh have played perfectly. They haven't done anything wrong, and they lead it 9-zip. X-Factor, Mike Whitmarsh has got eight stuff blocks. Mike Dodd has got eight digs. They're playing fabulous. Eight stuff blocks? Eight stuff blocks. That will get it done. Only playing to 15, so Karai and Steph is really need to go right now. They look completely demoralized. Of course, Karai and Steph is winning 63 tournaments together. But they haven't won one since uh, Kent has come back. Dodd and Whitmarsh trying to win their third in a row. Dodd with the serve. Up 9-0. Karch. And Karch cross courts it. Dodd and Whitmarsh, Paul, have a very interesting strategy. Whitmarsh gets up, and he goes one way as far as he can. Then Dodd behind him is a freelancer. He doesn't go left or right. He just guesses and anticipates. And he's very good at it. Well, he's the dean of defense. He does it better than I think anybody on tour and playing with the biggest and most uh, intimidating blocker as well in Whitmore. Karch got a block, but it's not down yet. Here comes Big Wit. Steffes stumbles in the sand and cannot get it up. So the score remains 9-0. So Karai and Steffes in the throws of Murphy's Law. Dodd and Whitmarsh keeping things very simple. Don't set the ball with their hands. Just bump set the ball. Keep the court small. Just triangulate everything. And right now, no unforced errors on their part. Down the line and out of the reach of Mike Dodd. So Steffes gets the kill. And now Karch will go back and serve. Remember how easily Kirai and Steffes were siding out against a smaller blocker like an Adam Johnson in the finals of the loser's bracket. Different story altogether against 6'8", Mike Whitmarsh. So a 20-second sand timeout. 4.15 to go. It's 9 to nothing. Recently, uh, about a month ago, the Courtney Cox issue of People Magazine listed Kent Steffes as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. Well, that was some list uh, for Kent to make. He's a good-looking guy. Uh, one of the uh, type of images that Pro Beach Volleyball likes to have. I, think, I guess St. John Smith was in that one year, was he not? The I think so. Pro I think Beach Volleyball also made it. Right? He traded for about seven points on the scoreboard right now. Karch and Kent trailing 9-0. This should be a chance. Could be a point. Karch coming in. The crowd's going to go bananas. And they do. How about that? Look at Karai. There's a first in volleyball history. Karch Karai exulting over only being down 9-1 to one and getting the French fry on the scoreboard. All right, we're coming back. Karch and Kent have finally scored a point. Plenty of time for a comeback. 4.05 remaining. As 
They are down by eight points. Let's get out of Bill Wall. I'm with Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh right now. You guys are playing fantastic volleyball. How do you keep it going? Oh, we just got to keep up our intensity. We let a couple slip through our fingers there. Uh, I had an easy dig on Karch and it shanked off my arm and then I made a bad pass. This is not the team you want to give a breath of fresh air and let them get back into it because they're too good. So we got to keep our intensity up. Mike Whitmarsh, you're a king at the net right now against the, the king of the beach. What are you doing that's being so successful? I don't know, whatever it is, I hope I can keep it up. Uh, I just feel good up there blocking and Mike's running down some shots. Hopefully we can keep it going and not let them back into the game. Continued success, but this match is far from over. Let's go back to Chris. All right, we'll take a break. Karch Karai down 9-1, going into the religious mode, trying for the comeback. Stay with us. Oh, the AVP's dancing referee shaking it. Oh. <laughs> Let's hope Marvin never goes on vacation to the San Andreas Fault. That was a 7.5 <laughs> on the Richter scale right there. All right, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes have just scored a point. That's after being down 9-0. Yes, Dodd and Whitmarsh have dominated the former Kings of the Beach. Dodd and Whit, eight stuffed blocks for Whitmarsh at the net. Dodd with some defense. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton with you from Seal. If Karai and Steffens are going to make a move, they're going to do it right now. They're on the good side, an advantage in these weather conditions, downwind. Whitmarsh got another one, and Dodd's coming in for the kill, and he gets it. Whitmarsh is oblivious to good side, bad side. Last time through. In this configuration, Karai and Steffes were shut out. How about Steffes passing the ball up on one for Karai, let him go on two. They're serving it so easy. Look at these serves. Ten to one's our score. <laughs> Steffes finally gets one down off the hands of Whitmore. I, I just don't think that Karai and Steffes mentally are willing to resort to what would be considered a trick play at this point. These guys are the kings of the beach last year. They won 17 out of 21 tournaments they played in together, but right now, Dodd Whitmar is playing on a different planet. And, line, line, line. No. and Dodd hits it out. So 10 to 2. Hard to remember a time when the Kings of the Beach, or former Kings, I should say, have been uh, behind this far. I'll tell you where it was, Paul. It's just coming to my memory. After Dodd puts it away, let's see. Or if he does put it away, he does. How about Archie Kent at Manhattan Beach? Yes, a year Adam or Johnson. two ago against Adam Johnson and Brooke Vandeweghe down 10 to 3, roared back to win 15 10. How's that for the memory of an elephant? Well, it took you about five minutes to come <laughs> up with it. <laughs> it arrived via. Over. Come on, Mike! Dive to Whitmarsh! Pokey, yes! <laughs> 11 to 2. Magic Johnson, or I should say Penny Hardaway to Shaq right now. Let's update the game a little bit. Look at that. Dodd playing defense and just on two. Boom D. And a timeout called. So Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh will be back after these messages from your local stations. Here California, the middle wide open. Dodd and Whitmarsh crushing Karai Stephens at the moment. 11 to 2. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton. Whitmarsh has been the controlling story at the net, and Dodd has been brilliant on defense. Karai Stephens trying to get their act together, and they cannot. Let's get down to Bill Walton, Bill. Chris, I just talked to Karch at that timeout about your suggested strategy of hitting on on the on the pass, and Karch said no, they're trying to build a rhythm for every tournament tournaments for the rest of the summer. So I don't think they'll utilize that strategy. Okay, there it is though, and it works. <laughs> And to heck with pride and everything else. Right now, you just want to find a way to put the ball to the sand. Down 12 2, but still plenty of time left. The question is, how are you going to score a point against Dodd and Whitmarsh? Kira and Steffes have not blocked, they have not scored with aces. Serving hard, Dodd went and got it. It's 12 to 2, and Dodd puts it away. Mike Dodd. And the bad set, though, you got to take Dodd's line. He's just trying to tap line, hit the ball off the blocker. You've got to take that shot, force him to hit back into the meat of the court in the defense of Karch Kira. Once again, the easy serve. Here comes Steffes. Come on. And Dodd with a dig. Karch against Whitmarsh. And Dodd with a dig. 12 to 2. Looking for 13. Got it. Boy, Dodd and Whitmarsh. Making the court look about the size of a postage stamp. 
Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh now leading 13 to 2. One minute, guys. And Ryan Steffes in deep trouble. Ryan Steffes got off to a bad start. A really bad start, 9-0 before they scored a point. Is there anything Brian Steffes can do right now? What do you it, do? It doesn't look like it. What I do is throw just caution to the wind. Even though you're siding out so poorly, which usually leads to conservative serving, you need four or five aces just to get some momentum, try to get your fans involved and put some pressure on Dodd who are just on cruise control right now. Let's go down to Bill Walton. Bill? Ken, you're getting hammered out here. What can you do to turn it around, and how are you feeling? Well, I feel fine, but uh, they're playing real well. To turn around, we need a couple good aces, maybe get a couple blocks, a few breaks come our way. Uh, still a lot of time left on the clock, so we can't come back if we get the breaks. A lot of rust in that game after the three-and-a-half-month layoff? Well, I mean, rusty all the way to the finals, so I don't know how rusty that is. Mike Whitmarsh has been controlling the net against you on your hitting. Absolutely. He's playing a great net game. It's been tough getting it by him and around him, but... Uh, it's all learning experience. I'll keep doing better as the game goes on and next time. Well, try to find something that works out there. Nothing's worked so far. Let's go back to Chris. All right, Bill. Ken Steffens once told me he had an answer for Mike Whitmarsh, a hitting strategy against him. I said, what is it? And he said, well, I can't tell you because you'll say it on the air and Whitmarsh will find it out. Well, apparently Whitmarsh <laughs> has his own strategy in terms of blocking for Ryan Steffens, and it's working superbly today. Sometimes you're just on, you know, you're making the right move and the, the hitter is hitting right into you. Yeah, but Whitmarsh is not the same volleyball player he was a year ago. He's not the same volleyball player he was the beginning of this season. He has improved tremendously as this year's gone on. 13 to 2. Come on. Come on. Karch taps it over the top. Remember, Karch and Kent came together just for the first time last week in Milwaukee after the shoulder surgery. Got a third. They've got an automatic second today. But Kent Steffes uh, said correctly, there is plenty of time. We're under three minutes, but that's time for a comeback. But it doesn't look like uh, they're going to be able to do it unless they can slow down. Don and Whitmarsh. He can get a couple of points. Dodd is up, and he puts it away. Mike Dodd. Again. And Dodd and Witt, of course, are going to continue to play the same way, but above all, they're going to be like a baseball team in the later innings. They're going to guard against the extra base hit. They don't want to get aced right now, so watch them moving a little more towards the sidelines. They just don't want to give up quick points. Steph is Dodd with a dig, and Whitmarsh puts it away. 14 to 2, Dodd and Whitmarsh. One point away from their third consecutive. No light open at Seal Beach. Tarch. Dodd and Karen. He's unconscious. As Steffes finally puts it away. There's a volleyball term called digging lips, and Dodd is doing it. You dig once. And you dig the guy's lip, you dig twice, you dig his lips, dig again, you dig his face off. And Dodd doing that. Arch corner to get each ball and saying, maybe look, maybe this will work. <laughs> Dodd would probably dig that too. And speaking of which, Dodd has got 16 digs in what has been a very short game. Just uh, about 33 minutes. As Karch sets to serve, trailing 14-2. Every hard turn by Karayan has his handle on Dodd and Whitmarsh. And I think that in the tease, Paul, that Dodd and Whitmarsh uh, awakening last year to uh, knock off Karayan Stephens. But this is really the exclamation point on a dominating point. Uh, 20 seconds to go, 14 to 2. Karayan Stephens trailing. Johnson and Loyal the third. Bill Bullion, Brian Lewis took fourth. Hanson and Young, Martin and Swadek in fifth. Frohoff Ludies and Junior right. Hovland in seventh. And everything has been beautiful for Mike Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh. Talked about Mike Whitmarsh's basketball career a lot. He told me one time that uh, he played at San Diego in the West Coast Conference that John Stockton beat him out for the Conference Player of the Year by one vote. This is championship point. Whitmarsh again to Don for the title. Yes. Patty Don, get ready. Your husband has won again.
Mike Whitmarsh, and they said, hey, can't play much better and give them credit, but you were unable to make any adjustments. Why was it so hard getting the ball past Whitmarsh and Dodd? Well, again, they played really well, and Mike was really big at the net. Hard pack sand here, so he was jumping real high, and we had a little trouble getting by him. Month of August is where all the dollars are made and where the titles come from, particularly with the Miller Light Cup. What changes can you make during your weeks of practice to adjust? It looks like it's you against Dodd and Whitmarsh the rest of the way. Oh, I don't think we need to make a lot of changes. We just got to play better. We ran into a buzz saw today. I think that's the worst we've ever, I've ever been beaten in a final. Probably Ken also, and we'll bounce back strong. Um, but every single play that could go their way did. I mean, even that last play, Whitmarsh hits that little shot on one over our heads. It, it, they just played a perfect game of volleyball, and we, we couldn't do anything. You got you have a you talked about getting into a good rhythm all weekend long. You seem to have had that even though you lost to them 15 8 you were siding out better. You never made an adjustment. You know you went on two uh, early uh, I should say very late in the match once but you never did anything to try to change it up. It, did that cause you some problems. Well I mean if you have any suggestions of what to change well, you can tell us now. <laughs> oh, I, one suggestion you didn't serve very tough the beginning of the match and it didn't seem to set an aggressive tone. What do you think about that. You know, before we knew it, we were down 5-0. I don't know how you uh, serve tough. At that point, you almost have to keep the ball in and get uh, and play more of a strategic game to try to score some points. I tried serving tough early. A couple went out. By the time I got another chance to serve, we were down 5 or 6-0 oh, and uh, already in trouble. And uh, there's nothing you can do at that point. Kent, there was a time, you know, when you explained to Chris and I that you said you had come up with a solution for Whitmarsh. I had. You, you told Chris Marlowe that, but you weren't going to tell us because then Whitmarsh would know. Is he a different player now from watching him the last couple of weeks than when you left the tour before your injury? God, that was four months ago. I, yeah, I, I mean, I think he is a little bit better from what I'm seeing. Um, he's getting up a little higher. He seems to be reading me a lot better. I'm going to have to disguise my shots the next time I face him. This is the first time I've played them in four or five months. There's always a little adjustment period because, you know, Whitmarsh is such a different blocker than just about everybody else out there. So I'll look at the tape and make some adjustments and come back next week better. All right. We look forward to a tough loss here. They played a great tournament and a great match against you in the finals. Dodd and Whitmarsh, the winners. Let's go back to you, Chris. Mike Dodd with his 70th win all time. Mike Whitmarsh with his 12th. He ties the great Larry Rundle for 23rd on the all-time list. Okay, we're going to come back. And we're going to show you after this commercial the great comeback at Sea of Donald.